naltrexone has been studied, as most of you know. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studies on naltrexone for uh, narcotic addiction, for alcohol addiction, for various other things to try to understand how it works. And they definitely understand that they act as cytokines and they do affect every cell in the body. But uh, they didn't know really the mechanism. So it just wasn't studied in autistic kids. So um, you know all this, non-expensive, available orally. Anyway, because it was so bitter and because we use a lot of transdermal um, medicines in our children, I worked with Dr. Uh, Tyra Smith, who's a molecular pharmacologist at um, Coastal Compounding in Savannah, Georgia. And he created uh, for me a transdermal cream. Uh, he puts pure naltrexone powder without any filler into emu oil and it goes right in. It's extremely powerful, extremely effective. And parents have shown over and over going from one line, which is six tenths of a milligram to one milligram, the child will make a lot of difference. Anyway, this was very effective and because Dr. Bihari's uh, experiments had shown that the um, endorphins are kicked out and uh, according to the, um, the circadian rhythm and it's best to take it at night, uh, the parents will rub it on the children's bodies when they go to bed, not when the children go to bed because the kids are usually asleep by 11 o'clock, hopefully. And uh, the parents will rub it on the, the kids right before they go to bed. Uh, I am doing a study. This is the study that I told you about already, Schifo and Marchetti showed that LDN produced significant reduction of symptoms in 7 of 12 ASD kids, a significant increase of T, CD4, CD8 helpers, and reduction of T suppressors, and the natural killer cell level was inversely related to the plasma opioid levels. Therapeutic use in ASD, we use in tiny doses, as I said, regulates mood, modulates, all this is repeating. Uh, we increase the natural endorphins toward T1 immunity. So this first study I've already told you about, 74% had enhanced sociability, mood, cognition, and language. 15 to 20% had frequent early infections followed by improvements. And this was self-reported on my list. Anybody can go on that and find it if they want to read up on that. My um, working hypothesis is that if the kids have primarily a genetic influence, that they may have to stay on LDN to stay well, that if the CD, four CD25 regulator cells come in and start operating that they won't have to after the six to, after the four to six months that it takes for the immune system to get normal with this treatment. These are some of the cytokines. Natural killer cell level, very low in all the kids and the parents too. Uh, MOG is a myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein uh, antibody and the neurofilament antibodies. These are brain antibodies, and we want those to go down because the kids are showing damage.